Hello guys and welcome back to the Sportsman's Road to Wembley and we're at the quarter final stage now and we're back at Blackburn Rovers after their incredible win over Premier League Leicester City. We're going to catch up with one of the goal scorers from that day, Tyree Stolen, ahead of their quarter final clash with Sheffield United. I'm pleased to be joined by Blackburn winger Tyree Stolen. Tyree, how are you getting on today? Yeah, good, thank you, sir. Just had your lunch? Yeah, just <laughs> a bit yeah. of chicken. Yeah. Um, before we kick off, I kind of wanted to ask you about uh, your personal development that you're on, and it goes back quite a few years to quite a serious incident you went through. One of your close friends, Jeremy Winston, sadly took his own life. Could you tell us a bit about that? You were at Man City's Academy together, is that right? Yeah, um, at Man City Academy together, went to the same school together, so built that bond from there. Um, I was the year above him at Man City, so training wise, we weren't really together a lot of the time. It was mainly at school, and then Obviously, outside of school, then that's when we were together, pretty much. You know, enough every single day, every single weekend as well. So yeah, that's where that's where the bond started. And for such a young man to kind of go through something like that when you were just a teenager yourself, how did that affect you at the time, and and how does it affect you now? Yeah, it was. It still affects me in the same way. You know, like grieving's weird. Like it happens like just in random times, really. For me, it's like I struggle with it in my best moments. Actually, like if it's like a good game or. Like times where you actually feel at your best, like you have had that bit of sadness because like they don't get to see that, if that makes sense. But yeah, it was a tough time really because it was that year was a crazy year for me. I was like, I just made my debut and like I thought like, wow, like things for me have really gone well. And then obviously then to hear the devastating news, it was like then everything had fell apart from being on such a high. So yeah, that year was just just a, a year just mixed emotions. And you spoke at his funeral, right? Yeah. So yeah, what was that like as, as a day and, and how did you deal with that? And you did, do you feel yourself kind of growing up as a, as a bit of a man during that time period? Yeah, um, for me talking, it was it was tough, but knowing that I've got all my close friends around me, his family were there, you know, they give me the strength, you know, seeing seeing them and his, his dad was super strong that day. Like his dad, like, bear, like bear, I think he didn't, like he was shedding tears, but not as much as anyone else because I think he was trying to remain strong for everyone else, you know, and... For me talking, it was tough. I, I read um, a poem that I had, and yeah, I spoke well. Um, I think that actually got got put out on in a in a recent interview. Then it got put out, so a few people seen that and had a quite a good response to it. So, so yeah. And since then, in the recent years, you've become an ambassador for a charity called Go Again. Could you explain a bit what that is about and what your role is? Yeah, so my agent actually put that forward to me. Um, you know, before I actually didn't didn't hear about it, and when he put it across to me, it was a no-brainer to get involved. You know, something that is so close to me and so close to home, it's only right that, that I got involved and done what done what I could to help the charity. And it's a great thing, you know, it's for people who are like coming out of um, jobs or like football and they just need that redirecting. Um, and for me, it's just mainly having that conversation with people. You know, I've always said to people, my social media is open. I'm always open to have that conversation. And a few times I've been on conversations with players who have just like been released and I'm speaking to them and just kind of sharing my journey with them. and. And how it can help them and it's it's not just for people who have been in football it's for everyday life so yeah i think it's a, a really good cause you know for helping people and what would you say do you think do you think clubs need to do more when they release these sort of young players in their in their teenagers yeah i would say so because i've seen from jeremy he feels like he didn't really get much support i when i've been released from clubs there's not much after that that you actually hear i feel like now it's getting better it's it's a step in the right direction but Still no way where it needs to be. So I'd say like more can be done, but it's a step in the right direction because more people are, are getting onto it now and trying to make a difference. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll leave a link to the Go Again charity in, in the description. People can check it out and get a bit more information uh, if they want to there. But let's uh, move on to the football this season and Blackburn. You were in and out of the team that start the season, but the last few months, I think it's probably the best we've seen you play in your career. Do you, do you feel that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel that in myself. I feel that like the sharpest I felt um, in my Rovers career, and yeah, just really, really in a good space at the minute. You know, the team are buzzing, so yeah, it helps me as a player as well. And yeah, I'm just happy with the way things are going. And you're kind of part of a front four at the minute with uh, Sammy Schmodix and um, Sam Gallagher and Sorba Thomas, who's recently joined. Do you feel like you're complementing each other and it's really working as a quartet? Yeah, definitely. I think we all work well together. I think there's a lot of hard work in there, which is key. You've got Gallagher who doesn't stop running. Schmods works hard. You see the backtracking um, Sorba done the other day in like, it might have been like the late 70th, 80th minute. So that just shows that not just on the ball, there's so much hard work that goes in off it, which complements everyone together because 
we want to work hard for the team and we have to grind out results and that's what we've been doing. And we've got to talk about that goal at uh, the King Power against Leicester in the last round of the FA Cup. Is that one of the highlights of your career so far? Yeah, I would say so. That was a, a massive one for me, you know, against the Premier League side. You know, it was a big game for us, uh, my first FA Cup goal. So, yeah, that was a, a special moment for me. And just happens that you're getting a bit of a, a rematch with Sheffield United, having recently beat them in the league. I think you lost 3-0 at Bramall Lane yeah. earlier in the season, but that recent victory and all-championship clash for a, a place at Wembley. Are you confident? Yeah, really confident. I think, like I say, the 3-0, I think we're a completely different team. Um, we are now then what to what we was and yeah, I feel like we're a lot stronger and we're all working a lot harder. We're gelling together better as a team. We're understanding what the manager wants us to do. So I feel like we're a completely different team from back then and yeah, really excited now for the FA Cup and yeah, just keep going and see where it takes us. Obviously, John Dahl Thompson was one of the best forwards in, in Europe on his day and obviously you're not, you're not a striker, but do you feel like you're learning from him and what he did as a player at all? Yeah, definitely. He gives us a lot of advice, you know, which which helps. We have a lot of chats with him, I have a lot of conversations with him and yeah, he's, he's good at that, you know, when I feel like everyone's, you can see the team's changed from what it was last season and um, it's a different philosophy and yeah, I feel like we're, we're really putting it all together from this second half of the season, I'd say we're, we're doing it really well and it's, it's not going to be perfect every single week, we know that, but you can see that we're trying to do the right things and courtesy to the gaffer, it's, it's going really well. And I know you won't want to say this, but is a slight part of your mind dreaming of Wembley. You're allowed to dream, aren't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think it, if people say they're, they're not thinking about it, they're lying. Of course, I think about it as, for me, I think as a young player to play at Wembley, it's, it's crazy. And for the boys, like it's a big achievement. So that that's kind of like motivation for us. It's not something that like we're worried about. We want to work hard to get there. there. The games that we want to be playing in, the big stadiums, big games. You know, so yeah, it's, it's right to dream. And I asked Dom a similar question, but are there three things you would like to achieve in your career? You're still very young. Yeah. You've got a lot of time. You can play at the top level. Is that one of your goals? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I want to, I want to, I want to win trophies, especially with Blackburn Rovers and to get to the Premier League like with Blackburn. That would be amazing, you know, to knowing that I came here as an 18-year-old and it's the club that gave me my debut. Um, yeah, to then go and reach the heights that I know we could reach would it just be amazing, yeah. And how about England? Yeah, that's that's a dream for me. You know, I got my shot at the twenties. Um, the twenty ones is is my dream as well to play in there. And then hopefully, if we get ourselves in the prem, we can get get ourselves in that first team. Hopefully. And the last question from me: Would you rather score the winner in the FA Cup final or the winner in the playoff final at Wembley this year? Playoff final. Playoff final. Yeah, playoff final. Lord, you could have said both. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably both. But, nah, the, the playoff final for me that would that yeah that would be my most. I'd say. Or both. Yeah, I'd say both. Brilliant. Thanks for joining me, Charles. Thank you.